fan expectations are a real thing. And, and, you know, especially in today's day and age of social media, fans can be very, very loud with expectations. And, and I, that's what I've been trying to do, honestly, Coach, going into to kick off in Shane's first season is, like you said, you don't want to accept mediocrity, but you just want fans to understand that it's, it's going to be a process. He needs time to build. He needs time to recruit and to keep. I think realistic expectations are healthy early in his tenure. But from the coaching side, I mean, did, did you got – because you know your players are pr probably listening to it. I mean, well, how, how did you handle the expectations and all that? Everywhere I was at for the my probably the last 20 years of my career, we had somebody in the athletic program that basically well, was almost had a psychology degree and dealt with our players mm. about the internet. Mm. Because if they had a, a game where they didn't perform as high – they would get crushed, oh, yeah. that, and these kids would read it, and then, you know, I mean, it affects their psyche. Right. You know, and then all of a sudden, you know, they play a decent game, and they think they were all this and that, and it would be on the Internet. And, you know, we, we've had basically a psychologist most of the places I've been where that dealt with the kids. They would tell us. I know at Florida State, we had a guy, I mean, he'd come tell me every day before practice, before my meetings, you say, now, you know, this was said about one of your players, and it was very negative. You need to know about this today, you know, because you're going to have to deal with it today in practice. He may not practice as well. Or this guy, right now, he's getting pumped up to be this or that. I mean, he thinks he's all this, you know. And I mean, that's the damage that is done to these kids. But it's the kids' fault because they listen to it right. and they read it. But that information that's out there, that's the damage that gets done to these kids. And I've always said, I mean, the since all this came about, in fact, I was in Augusta 20-some years ago, and I said, and they, they, you'd have thought I didn't threw a dang bomb at him, but there was a wife of one of the guys out there, she, and she said, she said do y'all, this Internet stuff, is, is it good? And I said, I said, really, it does more harm than good. And she punched her husband. And I, I said, I, I know right now where <laughs> something that's coming from. But, you know, uh, again, I go back to it. Anytime you can put information out there or question some what somebody's doing and you don't have to put your name on it, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, that's not good. Right, right. I mean, you, you know, like I said, most of them, a guy told me, he said, a lot of these guys that are posting, they're either teenagers high school kids, teenagers, or the college students, or there's somebody that's not working. Right. Because they got too much damn time on hands. <laughs> and so, and I'm not sitting here bashing all right. that stuff, but I right. do know, over the years, I've seen a lot of kids really get damaged. Right. Because of, you know, stuff that's said out there. And it's like Mike Gundy. He said it best. He said, if you want to criticize somebody, criticize me. You know, I'm a man. Yeah. Don't criticize my players. Right. You know, they're, they're kids. You know, they're doing the best they can most of the time. For sure. And yeah. so, and I always just look at, you know, we're the ones that brought them there. If they don't play good, don't yeah. criticize the kid. Criticize us as coaches. We brought, we brought them there. We haven't developed the kid well.